guess the first thing would be start out where you were born. Lawrence, South Carolina. Lawrence. Uh, what county was that? Lawrence County. Lawrence County. How long ago was that? 1900. Ever since 1900. That make me 72 years old. And when's your birthday? 12th of February. Huh? Why is it 13th of February? One day off. Um, how old were you when you started playing guitar? About 10 when I started trying. Mm -hmm. I was about 10 years old. Uh, what got you started playing guitar? I don't know. I had a friend that had a guitar and he could play very well. And I just wanted to learn how to play one. I started to learn trying to play with a knife. Yeah. This is John Henry. That's about the first piece of what I like. Yeah. You played in Sebastopol one? Yeah, Sebastopol, that's right. What was your friend's name? Pink. Pink. That's the name I got. Now, what was your friend's name that was, was playing? His name was Joe Wicks. Mm -hmm. Was there anybody else that you listened to when you were first starting to play that, you know, sort of influenced you in one way? Nobody but him, as I know of. I don't know who he liked from. Yeah. What he'd know, but he didn't know very much. But. Was there anybody in your family that played any kind of instruments? Nobody. My uncle, he used to play organ. He's dead, been dead for years. What was his name? Walter. Walter. Uh, how big a family were you? You mean in my family? Yeah. My dad and mother, and my dad and mother, and my sister, she's dead. Mm -hmm. Um. So you're around, you know, nine or ten years old when you started playing. About ten. You began to pick it up. About ten, boy, I know. Were you playing just for yourself, or? I'm just trying to play for anybody that's out just playing who to get out sometimes to myself sometimes. Yeah. How long was it before you, you, know, you began to get paid for picking guitar? It must have been 15 years, I expect. I just started getting paid until about 19, 1918. When I started on the show, as well, see, I started, I mean, found out to play very well, so he hired me out. Which show was this? Could. Yeah. How long did you work for, for Dr. Kerr? 20 years. That's a fair while. I stayed with him from 1918 to 1938. Mm -hmm. Why, why, why did you stop and working for him in '38? I think he retired. That's about the biggest thing. He retired. Uh, how long did you stay in Lawrence? I left Lawrence when I was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. My mother and father they left there too, and we all left together. Where'd you go to that? Right here in Spartanburg. Mm -hmm. Right here in Spartanburg. Over. They were on Bronner Street, 8th Street. Near what town did you live in Lawrence County? Lawrence. Just living in Lawrence. Mm -hmm. How far away is that in here? Uh, 37 miles. So you, since you and your parents moved to, to Spartanburg, you've used Spartanburg as kind of your, as your base when you were traveling. That's right, that's right, that's right. Were there any other guitar pickers down around by there? No, nobody played a guitar, not as I know of, no more than a few country guitar, trying to play guitar, but like me, I couldn't play none when I left there, it wasn't nothing. Yeah. The seesaw on the guitar. Uh, when did you meet Sydney? Right here in Spartanburg. Mm -hmm. How long ago was, was that, you think? About 1916, I think it was. Mm -hmm. It was about 1916, first time I saw him. Where did you see him? 
What was he doing with your first song? I didn't get to I had another fellow with him leading him around and mm. he could sing with simply play to get to I and sing and other fellow sang and carried him around. A fellow named Henry. I think he come out of Georgia. Yeah. So him and Holmes and his home was in Hartford, Georgia. I think both of them home was in Hartford, Georgia. The city wasn't originally from Spartanburg, did No, we were from Hartford, Georgia. Mm-hmm. It was Henry what? What was the name of the man? Henry? I don't know what Henry went by. I just don't know what Henry something. I don't know. I don't know what he went by. Yeah. He's dead. I've only been, yeah. been dead a long time. When did you start playing with, uh, with Simi? In the uh, record after World War One, mm -hmm. record after World War One, just about. What uh, what got you two together to play? Well, uh, see, Sim didn't have nobody to carry me around no way after Henry had left him, and so he just carried me around to hit him so I could play the guitar a little bit, and could pay his hat around and get a little money for him, and for me and him both. And I got to a place where he let me call what I didn't know and mm -hmm. he came me with them calls day and night. So all the time, Mr. I was came in with calls day and night. The reason I hate to miss a call right now because <laughs> he give me the devil when I miss one. <laughs> he, he seems to have been the I one that made it. I was a while ago when he what I made. I fell when it was bad I wasn't bad. The that really is the one that, that, that taught you most of the guitar that you know. Sim did, that's right. You're a good teacher. Did you get into Greenville much from, from Spartanburg? Well, we are always in Greenville. We used to play all over around Greenville and mm -hmm. all around the community. It was Cotton Mill Hill is over there. It's about, I guess I've been playing, I played over here, one of them. Mm -hmm. well, what did you and Simi usually play for, just on the streets or? We played on the streets and sometimes parties, house parties, something like that, we played for that. See, we was playing street guitars and we played for a party and thing like that. What kind of songs did you do? Was it mostly blues or was it other kind of stuff? Well, when we were playing for white folks, we were playing different songs, see, because mm -hmm. we played something like funny songs and uh, something like Let Me Call You Sweetheart and all them kind right. of songs like that at the time and some other kind of songs. We were playing the color. We played blues and the comedy songs too, we like right. that. Well, last time I was here, you mentioned uh, a couple of things about the, there's a string band in Greenville. Yeah, you know, a few guitars and a fiddle. And, yeah. Well, we used to, I used to be, I played a string band in, mm -hmm. from here, you see, we were from here. From Spartanburg, this one? That's right, we'd go over there and play. And we all played that text that hall over there, uh -huh. the string band. We didn't have no uh, electric instruments, we just right. had... Um, how many instruments were in that band? Well, usually. Let's see a banjo, guitar, and a bass, and lead violin. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we we have used drums. Mm -hmm. Never have any. But later on, it. Drum a little too loud for a string band, yeah. and especially when we didn't have no uh, electric equipment. How long ago were you playing with a string band? Well, I played a string band around seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. How long ago was it? Well, it was years. I think I quit playing string band back in the thirties, sometime in the thirties. Did you, ever, were the, did you ever have anyone playing harmonica or blowing jug with a group? No, we didn't have no harmonica. Mm -hmm. That's a string instrument. Yeah. Do you remember any of the people that were in that band? Sure, I can. And every one of them, I can call every, every one of them is dead. Yeah. Grover William. What did he play? Lee Brown. Mm -hmm. George Bates, he played lead viol sometime, but we had to trick around and go around like that. Sometime a girl would play the guitar, and sometimes he played the bass, and sometimes they change up like that. Cause both of them would play bass, right. and both of them played violin. Both of them played the bass. 
and sometimes grow with these babies. Sometimes we take on guesses. Sometimes somebody else come in and play, and play with them. Who played banjo? Uh, his brother Jim called him Jim. His name was James. Called him Jim. Whose brother was this? Grover's brother, the lead violin player. Brother. Jim Williams. That's right. So it was. Then you played guitar. Right? I played guitar. Did you play anything else besides guitar? Nothing. That's all. Do you ever have a mandolin player at all in the string band? A mandolin player. Yeah. Did you ever have one? No, we didn't have man and have a string man. We have uh, something to come by and play. The string man would play with yeah. us. Was it? Were there bands like this around here in other towns? The string bands. Sure, I'd be run up on some string bands, and but the last time I've been run up on was in Athens, Georgia. We mm. they had a pretty good band in Athens, Georgia. Because I, I heard tell that there was there was a string band in Greenville too that, that Blind Gary used to play with once in a while. Gary, let me see. I don't know. I don't. I remember Gary playing with no band. I can't remember Gary playing with no band. Yeah, that was that was sort of surprised me because he usually worked. You know, he seems to work by himself most of the time. I think he said that was around 1912 or 1913. That string band. Yeah. Really, not to play for. Put a band I was a compliment man and and uh let's say uh, he take Gary, he played straight guitar money all the time. Yeah. He, him and Willie they played the straight just not the straight guitar. They played much thicker. And I played second money all the time. You notice me when I'm trying to play something, I had I put the second in there and put the compliment what I'm singing. Right, right. When did you meet Willie Walker? Greenville? Mm -hmm. That's where I first know Willie Walker at Greenville. How long ago? You know, about what time? What time was that? Been around 40, 40 some years ago, way back in a long time ago. I couldn't exactly remember. But and he was he was playing by himself then, or yeah, he was playing by himself. And let me see who was that can him. Somebody was can, but it's been so long I forgot who was can. Sam Brooks worked with him. Sam Brooks worked with him, but. Sam wasn't with him when I first knew him, but somebody else was with him, I think it was. But Sam did play with him. Yeah. Did you know any of the other people in Greenville? I, you know, I remember Willie had a brother named Joe. I didn't know him. Mm -hmm. I didn't know his brother. I don't know. I, I've been knowing Willie a long time, but every time I see him be on the streets, and yeah. maybe at somebody's house, and, Praying there. Yeah, he, he did live here in Spartanburg a while before he died. Yeah. He was very young when he died, too. He was about 32 years old. I guess he must have been around something like that. The death records in, in, in Greenville say huh? he was 32. I think he must have died long in, in the place sometime back in 1931. That's when he died? He, just, he made the records a little, you know, a couple of years before that with, with Sam. That's right. Mm. And the company went broke, and he died shortly after that. That's right. How about Josh White? Did you ever run into him in Greenville? I, yeah, in Brooklyn, Greenville, but it's been so long. I might have forgotten Josh White. Well, I heard some of his recording yeah. after he I went back in the city. Yeah. I remember him. Well, he's dead too, ain't he? Yeah, he died about a year, mm. maybe two. I think Tate told me he was dead. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's, I told Tate about it, that's why. That's right. He, he real sick up over Gary's death. Tate yeah, was. he... You know, we were talking about when, when, when Tate came up uh, in May. Old oh, man, he was older than me. He must yeah. have been an old man. About 78. Well, I'm 70, but I don't know, I'm going to get around 80, 80 some years old. You knew Gary then, uh, in Greenville, or did you meet him somewhere else? Gary, yeah, I knew him in Greenville. I saw him in Greenville. I didn't go visit him, but I just seen him in the place at the time. Yeah. Nashville. Yeah. Did you know Gary Hall? Yeah, I knew him. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
See, Gary traveled around a lot. He traveled by himself then. Yeah. Was he mostly playing blues? Or? He was playing, he had to quit playing blues, playing Christian pieces then. I saw him up in Mount Holly, North Carolina, where it was. I put him on the train, he said he's going to Charlotte. So he was, he, he'd stopped playing blues by then? He said he had to stop playing blues, but he did play some blues there because mm -hmm. he was getting money to play the blues. Yeah. And he's, the people what he was rooming with, he didn't want them to know that he was playing the blues. So he, <laughs> he played and took a lot of money that night for the blues that he played. How long ago was it when you last saw him? Let me see. I believe 1923. Mm -hmm. 1922 or 1923 one. Mm -hmm. The last time I saw him was I had left home and went to Charlotte and I was out. I was leaving in Charlotte then, mm -hmm. but I had left home. I just come out of Mount Holly. Mount Holly's a little piece out of Charlotte back this way. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know. I thought Gary was dead until Tate's come back and told me about his recording up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he just made some records last spring. That's right. He, he could still pick too. Yeah, he could play. I don't know. I think he and Willie Walker are probably about, about two of the best all around guitar pickers. In the, in the I don't know. It's, a, it's, just a, it's between the two. I just don't know. <laughs> I know. I couldn't say one over the other. Well, it might have been a little bit of that bully. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, get it, when it gets out of tune and play, mm. run it out of tune and play. <laughs> did Willie and Gary ever play together? Do you know? Uh, not that I know of, I never did know. I, I yeah. never did see them. I never did see them together. I never did see that couple together. Well, when you started playing uh, medicine shows, were you... Yeah, I know you were a part of a show, but when you were performing, did you perform alone, or did you have other people perform with you? Well, I'll tell you, when I first started medicine show, I did not even know a joke. Mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing at all, and, and could. The man I was working with let me the first joke of I knew. Mm -hmm. On a little old stage, just about a little bit big in that table there. <laughs> there's a cotton wheel out there. Mm -hmm. And he had a little old show out there, just selling medicine, just enough to do. It was big enough for two of us to stand on. And I used to be a pretty good book dance, and I could, I could get up on that thing and, and, and dance. Yeah. Well, now I can't hardly put one foot for the other. Yeah, I couldn't. He liked me the first joke that I know. I remember the first pay I ever got. For a week. Mm -hmm. $10.50. $10.50. Cents, $10 and, and I didn't count it. I started putting it in my pocket. He told me, he said, I always count your money when somebody get to you. When you get paid off and know how much you got. I was counting to see why I had $10. I was, I was satisfied with that anyway. Yeah, that, that, that was pretty decent money back then, too. Yeah, it was all right. But Nixon, it wasn't too much money because that was right after World War I. Yeah. And he uh, was paying a... Another fellow was over there, and the next two weeks he comes paying him thirty-two dollars a week. And he told me, he said, if I do any good, next uh, week, say, I'll, I'll give you more. And so the next week he must didn't do no good. He still don't give me them same ten dollars. And about three a month after then he give me fifteen dollars. And he come in all at once. I pick up money every night. Do you want some money? I tell him, yeah, I want some money. I'll take it up. You know what I was taking up? That money I'm taking up. And when he started giving me $32, I never have dropped $32 in my life. He paid me for it, like the I take it up, didn't know what I was getting. See, I didn't know how much money I was getting to start with. So, I, so he paid me. And they would draw it. After he told me what I was getting, sometimes I draw a dollar, sometimes two dollars, three dollars, you know. And float away. Didn't have much to do with money. You started with Dr. Kerr. What other entertainers did he have with him? Now he, uh, after 
couple of years, check out and got a show with Tom, five or six people on the show from time before through the summer. So got to be five or six of us. What did they do? What did the entertainers do? Well, uh, you had some musicians, some play uh, instruments and, and do comedy for me. Some had to well, put on a show. It's, it's like a metro show. You know how a metro show is? Let's put on a real show and do the first part. And we do our first part, he'd get up and sell metal. We'd get up behind him and work out behind him. Cause he had some other metal to get up. He had to get up and behind that and sell that. Behind the next piece, we put on after piece. Which you call after piece the last. To draw him back the next night. And we had plenty of people on a lot all the time too. I used to like medicine show, but they about played out now. Cause that's just the thing is... He's about the only one left, I think. I think so. I, I don't know nobody but him. You see a few pitchmen. He's not got a show. He's got... He's pitching. That's all he yeah. does. This. He had me had a show. He sent for me... And paid both back in the way I'm back in... About 40-something. When he was in Tennessee, he had a big show. But I never did go. I stayed over here with Sam and them with two or three different people show I was on to go ahead and work with them. After Kerr's show, who did you work with then? I worked with Emick Smith and Sam Williamson for a while, and I worked with Johnny Rick. Johnny Ricky. He's out of Greenville. And he died. He's been dead around 25 years. Sam's been dead around 28 years. He yeah. just died here about two years ago. Which one was that? Henry Smith. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, she's mentioned that. When did you first meet the chief? Let me see. One day I'm, I don't know. I couldn't tell what he had was to save my life. Hmm. Chief used to be a drunk. First time I met the chief, I think it was in a Rocky Mountain. Well, above Rocky Mountain up there somewhere. And he was with Smith. Waking on my sandwiches. That's what he was, waking on my sandwiches. He get drunk and get in jail to get him out and get in jail because he's down sweet sometimes. He's a good fellow though. And everybody liked him. He could go anywhere. He could just almost get by with mud. Just wear long hair coming down to his knees almost. Get by with mud. Get drunk and walk all night long. First day, when he come, we'd come in home from down the room with me. I couldn't rest for him all night long, walking in, all night long, calling me. <coughs> <coughs> so when did you start first start working with him? Let me see. I went to start working with Chief. Uh, I started working with Chief about thought or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know what year it was back in the 40s. Did you run into him first or, or, or Peg? Which one did you know first? Oh, Peg. I've been knowing Peg a long time. I got Peg on. I got Peg on. Out on the road, mom. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's about 20 years. Yeah. Because when you first got on the show with Johnny Rick. Did Simi ever work uh, medicine shows or anything? Well, he worked with one man a while and he had to have a 
Ronald Leader with him when he worked on that show. I never did work with him. Doc Hopper, he worked with uh, Doc Hopper mm -hmm. for a while. I think about one or two seasons. Yeah. Cause there's nothing in Hollywood want a blind man because they had to put him back in the fire on the stage. And it's kind of a busy thing, man, selling medicine. You know, yeah, yeah. Get out there and... So I used to do everything. I had to get out there, play my own music, do my own dancing, sing my own song, get out and sell medicine in the audience. I've done it all. Because yeah. to see, I was valuable. I never did get no big money, but I was, which I know that I was valuable. Yeah. Did you? Ever play anything besides medicine shows, any kind of stage That's shows all or I circuses or anything? I played theaters and, and, uh, and, uh, and nightclubs and things like that. I played theaters, you know, like a medicine show or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, pig rung the clock off the wall in Akron, Ohio one time. They had them old clocks up there when you, when you do this year. The hand go around. Yeah. What applause you get? Me and Terry got up there and that thing went around there and dropped down on it. <laughs> yeah. That was a nightclub. I had no I had never been in a nightclub before. Yeah. We had done a team. Cross fire a little bit. What with that 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 dance with Terry had would kill. <laughs> <laughs> So it's mostly then medicine shows. We were on the medicine shows then. The man hired us, told the man he wanted us to work in his, his uh, theater that night. Mm -hmm. He was trying to raise money to get some chairs for, for something on for the yeah. park or something like that. Some kind of benefit thing. Something like that. I don't know what it was. I forgot what it was. Not really how we got a man wake that night. Wait, that club, there's one right above that in the main house, the next night I didn't like it so much. Mm -hmm. I waked up there and it seemed like nobody wasn't paying no attention. Mm -hmm. when it, it, uh, we got playing ball up there, man. Every time I come in and turn around and look around, there's a bill sticking in the door. Gives me a notion to leave and get out of coming back no more. I'm scared to come in. Did you run into a lot of musicians when you were traveling? Oh yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them in traveling. Well, I'm, I, I run into, I wish I could do what they could do. Did you ever run into a man named uh, Blind Willie? Willie McTell, who played a 12 string guitar. Was it Blind Man? He had kind of a high voice. He played the hell out of a 12 string guitar. I don't know. I don't think I ran into him. Because I know he traveled around a lot. I just wondered you might have, if you had run up on him. Don't think so. I, I heard a lot of records and, from different people. And can't think of the names. I forget that. Older man get the more he forget. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people have sold a lot of records. People like Blind Blake, he, he sold a lot of records. Yeah. Did you ever see him? He's another good one. I did see him in person. I moved his picture. Just like I was by... Never see him in prison. Everywhere I'd go, he'd just been there and gone. <laughs> I'm trying to see him. The thing I heard me him, he was dead. Yeah, about 41. Did you ever play with any other harmonica players besides Penny? Now, Keg Shorter, he's played with him. I think he's dead now. He's played with him. He's the best, he's the best I ever heard. Where's he from? That's who, uh, I don't know. I think it's from. 
place out of Georgia somewhere. Um, That's who Pig landed on. Yeah, Emmett. Yeah, it's the same guy. That was his name. Yeah, Peg mentioned him last night. So, said he was a hell of a hard player. He was. So usually then you work on your own, except around here when you were working with Sydney or That's right. when, you had, when Peg was with you on the, on the medicine show. That's right. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you fulfilled all sorts of roles on the medicine show too. That's right, huh? After I got off the road and quit, I, met, I showed him Miss Pig, and I had a good washboard player. He could play that washboard. He was good with it. Mm. He was good showing with it, and he could play it. Yeah. What was his name? Charlie William. Stevie me till he died. Anytime I get ready to go, washboard is ready to go. Mm. Did he have a nickname? Charlie, he didn't, because Cody was calling him Washboard all the time. Yeah. Was he the one that was on the Riverside that we recorded in 1950? No, let me see. It was like Jumbo Lewis. 1950. How long ago did Charlie die? I think he died in 56. Mm -hmm. Was that in, uh, in Spartanburg? Mm, yeah. He can sick here, but his home was on Augusta, Georgia, just where he died at Georgia. How long ago did Simi die? Simi did around 17, 18 years. Mm -hmm. He died back in the 50s, sometime back in the 50s. Was he living in Spartanburg when he died? Yeah, he was living on, on Charles Street here in Spartanburg. Mm -hmm. Do you have any kin or anything? He had a daughter and uh, a woman he lived with. Mm. And he had a, a sister, I think she lived in Hartford, Georgia. And I think his brother did. He had a brother yeah. in Florida. I think he did. Was he the only musician in this family that you know of? That's all. Nobody but him. Nobody but Simmy. He ain't got to a place where he couldn't. All the same, he, was, he was, had a good voice, but he didn't have much of a voice when he died, before he died. How old was Simmy when he died? Around 17, 18. Did he have any fun? How did you two get to record? All right, all right. Man run the music store up at Alexander. Mm -hmm. I don't know, some man come in there and got talking to him about it and he come and got us. I guess I've been so he stayed around here two or three days. And uh South to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We now wreck from on Price Street in Atlanta. Yeah. Well down on one train come back and know we already know what we was gonna play while we had our song together. Some of them had been down there three months. Huh. How many songs did you do then? Two. We didn't do it. Let me see. Four songs, I believe. We made two records. Let me see. Let me see. Tip out nine stretch of stuff. See, see no blues. Every day in the week. Pop about to get mad. Yeah, that's Make two records. Yeah. No, was that Columbia Records? Columbia Records, right. And man, I don't believe we can when we made them records or not. You got on there? He had a jerk liquor sitting down there. I don't want to get drunk. Hmm. Boys, I go here. You ain't going to get drunk. We made them come out all right. And the next time you recorded was, uh, was 1950, I guess. I think that was it. No, I didn't record it in 1950. 
I didn't make no more, but I saw my records we made for the Columbia people. And this time I made it, recording the record was with Sam Child. And that was back in 60, I think it was. Yeah. Well, you, you did some size uh, before you did, before Sam, about 10 years before that, I think, in Virginia. I did, my, I, that was me by myself. Yeah. Let me see, what was that I did, a, a record for? I've forgotten the fellow's name now. Um, Paul something went to the recorded a fair near Charlotte. I was in the state in the Charlotte Virginia. Yeah. I was coming home then from uh, Pittsburgh. Huh? Well what was that I played? What was it? Let's see. That was nineteen fifty. Well, I sure don't remember what I played. I thought I played one number. Uh, one side there's a washboard player. Yeah, that's right. He sure was. A, uh, that's what I picked up right there. Yeah. I was slipping off from one of my washboard players because he, he was a drunk and that's all he was doing. He couldn't play until he got some wine. It took him all day to get the wine when we started playing. He wasn't no good and so I just left him and come yeah. on in. Hmm. The stuff you did for Sam, was all done here, right? Right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Was that all done in one day? Or you remember? Yeah. In one day. If I hadn't been so far off, I could have did what I was going to do today. I could have did it. I don't well, know how tomorrow. I got that way. Yeah, this time. There's no rush on that. So the Columbia thing, someone from Columbia was, was traveling down through and checked with, with the music store. And that's how he found out about you. Yeah. Must have been scouting around. The music stores, they, they tended to check in music stores. I don't know how they got me down to Charlotte, Virginia, because I used to play for some Greek there in the joint there. I was so disgusted when I was there. I didn't care where I played in another. But when we first got there, was the fair was going on. I seen the chief by playing the piece. I got there. That's what with the city hall. He said, uh, I want to, uh, what you want to do? Y'all want to play? I said, yeah. He said, uh, you can't play down here. He said, I'm running blind me and wait me. Y'all can't play here. I said, I'm going to run that seat for myself. I'm going to run it. Talk to a man. He said, yeah, I wish the chief comes here. The chief ain't here yet. He'll be here directly. And after a while, the chief comes. And he called me. He said, come here. Can y'all play them things? I had a wild old washboard play with me that time. Yeah. I said, I can uh, make a little fuss on it. Play me a piece, and I played a piece for him. I played that traveling man and I got mine. He liked it. He said, yes, boys, y'all can play here. He said, play anywhere you want to play here, just since you don't block the sidewalk. <laughs> I think it was three dollars. I told the boys, somewhere in play since we didn't block the sidewalk. <laughs> we went to a place. Where a house had been burnt down there, that's somewhere in, off the street. We started down there. It's got me a good time to start the plane. People come to town now. We see that and got around $90 standing right there in that spot. Because we getting money before we played. <laughs> they only recorded for Columbia then that one time. You and Simi. How many? So you just went down and recorded for Columbia that one time. That's all, one time. Now they wanted me to come back and I didn't want to go cause because Simi didn't go because he's a blind man I was canning. Yeah. And so me and Simi went on down in Florida from here. Went to Stewart, Florida. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I don't know, I think he said he had been around in Atlanta. He tried to, he wanted us to go back in the plane with him to California. And I wouldn't go because Simmer didn't want to go. 
I, I'm just a man. If I'm with anybody I want to be with him, I'd have stayed with him. I could have been making money, but I, I wouldn't go. Got back here. Larry Zander tried to send me to Texas. But you got to sign a contract. I said, I ain't going. If Jimmy don't go, I ain't going. I wouldn't go. I didn't sign no contract and I didn't go. I had a good voice at the time. Well, when you were traveling uh, with medicine shows, did you get up, uh, I would say, you know, out into California and through the West at all? No, never did. Never did with nobody. I let the man bull me all the time because I was pretty good and you know it. Hey, wanted to keep me there all the time. What sort of Everybody was no good. Let him tell ain't the swans way no good. Ain't no good. The medicine show then just pretty much played through the south. We had to play through the south. We just played some in the north, but it was better in the south than it was in the was in north. It was better in the south. How far west did you get in the Mississippi? I knew the Wake Mississippi. Mm -hmm. I knew the Wake Mississippi. I knew. I went South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, spots in Pennsylvania, and all. Did you get into Alabama? Florida. I never went to Alabama. Did you get into Alabama? That Florida, that's pretty good for me. Did you ever get as far north as uh, New York or anything like that? No, I never did get I ain't never been in New York in my life. I never have. Well, what for is a man went? And when he come down, I come down. I always did want to travel a long way, but I never got the trip much. Who taught you uh, to play in C natural then? You said you started playing in basketball. Simi? Simi did? That's right. He let me different chords and things like that. And where to make them at and when to make them. Yeah. When you get to a place, you So when you, when you first started playing, did you use a pocket knife or, or a, a bottle knife? Or I used a pocket I never couldn't use a bottle knife. I used a pocket knife. Mm -hmm. To have one of the more high string guitar. I get out like that with the string lay on there. Yeah. yeah. Nick, you can hardly play. Yeah, you couldn't finger pick one of those too well. No, you can't. The string, he's down on that. Straight up. I can't get a tone out. I can't Get a 
not me, but you got to be the chef. I don't love big. Both eyes out, cannot see. Oh, blaze cut off, put up your knees. Two bucket lotion, job and flu. Lights on your body, done the Yankee Goodle Doodle Doodle Doodle. So I know no teeth in your head. Got to get a special liver, all your folks in one day. Your grandmama's sick, your grandpapa died. And then, probably, mister, I pay you that dime. Nobody, even I know you.
make you about 35th in line for it when I, when I decide to get rid of it. Yeah. A lot of people want that one. Yeah, I know they do. Shove a guitar. I would love to get that the way I did. <coughs> Sweet tone. Mm. Rings, rings nice too. What I'm talking about, real tone. Mm. 